Hey guys, so before I get started on the process of my video, I thought it'd be easier if I just talked while I'm explaining it instead of doing a voiceover where I feel rushed most of the time. So today's video for our day two of the pattern paper series, I found this idea online and I will link the source below. I got it off a Craftsy um, blog post. It's how to make 14 cards out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper. Now, if you're like me, you have a ton of 12 by 12 paper and I don't scrapbook. So this paper is in a container and never gets looked at. I actually took a lot of my 12 by 12 and cut it down to six by six. So I actually had to, the only thing I have in 12 by 12 are solid colors. So I had to go to Michael's real quick and pick up a patterned 12 now, by 12 sheet. On this blog post, and I'm gonna include the pictures at the end of this video. On the blog post, I printed this sheet. In this sheet, I'll zoom in for you, is your 12 by 12, and then it shows the measurement of what to cut everything at. So looking at this, it looks really overwhelming and crazy, but what I would do here is take my 12 by 12 and go ahead and cut this first. That way I'm working with three different sections, and then I real quick, boom, 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 down the, the center, or you know, down the this section. And then same thing with here, just cut them real quick on this strip and then take this section and cut it and then flip it and cut it here. Hopefully that makes sense. So here's the measurements and I will include this picture at the end. I will also include the link to the blog post um, if you wanna check that out as well. But this is gonna be my guide. So once I have all my pieces cut, then they also had this that says the layout. So the shaded part is your pattern paper and it comes out with 14 cards and then you pick whatever sentiment you want or whatever so what I'm going to do is off camera I'm gonna cut all these pieces because there's no point in you watching me and and I want to take my time with it but like I said this will be included at the end and then I will lay out once I cut them I'll lay out all my pieces so you can see them cut out and then I'll go ahead and start putting together the cards, which um, obviously I will film for you guys. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here is my measured measurement sheet I went by, and here is the finished product of what your paper will look like once you cut it out according to this. And the only thing you have left is this little strip of paper, which is nice. So you could leave it like this or I always like to have a border around my paper. So I have, I chose, and I have a ton of solid 12 by 12s. So I chose this color and I chose this color. And this, this step's completely optional. You can use it like this. I have an A2 size card base here and it fits just fine. But if you like a border, what you want to do is, I'm only going to go out probably an eighth of an inch. So I'll use this sheet and I'll add an eighth of an inch to the original uh, measurement. That is the reason why I have two pieces of solid cardstock. Because obviously this used one sheet. So if I'm going to go a little bigger, I need another sheet. So I chose these two colors. Like I said, this is optional. You don't have to do it. The, pace, the pieces look fine as they are, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the borders and use them on my cards. So I'm gonna cut these out and then I'll be back. All right guys, so as you can see, I have cut, and my blade is dull so my paper is all raveled, but I have cut my little mats for my pieces. Now, this is very time consuming, but if you want to make something quick, I would say skip the okay, part so here with are my the mask. pieces. And uh, to save time, I've went ahead and cut, uh, glued my solid color to my pattern paper. So here they are. And then in my sheet with measurements, it gives the measurements obviously, but it also gives what 
this piece goes with. This is for card one, these two strips are for card two, the square is for card three, etc. And then the next sheet is your card layout. So what I'm gonna do is I have already cut and scored my card bases. So there's 14 here and they are all top folding cards. Of course you can make them whatever you want. So there's 14 here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as my guide and adhere all my pieces to my card bases. Now, um, I'm gonna add some embellishments, whatever, washi tape, stuff like that, if I see fit. But um, this is what I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna speed it up, but I'm gonna do voiceover so I explain at least Okay, so here I'm adhering my pieces, and on a couple of these, like this one, I needed to trim off the edges because it was overhanging my card base. And I'm using liquid adhesive Tombow Mono Glue. Um, I, my method of adhesive, my preferred method is tape adhesive because glue, I take the risk of the paper kind of rippling. So I like tape adhesive, but I am still out of tape adhesive. So I'm using my Tombow Mono Glue. And since this paper is a little thick with the layers, it did not warp at all. And I apologize, I'm slightly off camera the whole time I'm doing this, which is extremely frustrating because this was time consuming. And to have it not be 100% on the screen is really aggravating. Of course, I usually am good about checking, but I was not this time. So I'm adhering all my pieces. Um, and if this is too much, um, if you Google or you go on Pinterest and just do how to make cards using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper or something like that, um, you can find different layouts. I think there's one where you can make nine cards with one sheet, um, which I don't know why I chose the 14 and not the nine, <laughs> but whatever, uh, 14 cards out of one sheet of paper. I mean, that's pretty impressive. So, um, and my goal in sharing this with you guys is that these are quick ways to, if you need cards or you need a set of cards or you want to gift somebody a set of cards. I mean, how inexpensive is it to buy one sheet of pattern uh, paper that's 12 by 12, so say that's 60 cents, and then you use, if you make your own card bases, you're using seven sheets of cardstock. So I mean, really nice gift that um, it doesn't use much as far as supplies. If you want to make a whole bunch of thank you notes, stuff like that, it's just, it's really handy. And some of these designs I like better than others. Like if I was making this again, I probably would skip a couple of the layouts. But overall, I was pretty happy with the way this turned out. So I'm going to finish up adhering the rest of my cards and um, then I'm going to shoot over to real time talking, I guess if that's what you want to call it, instead of the voiceover and uh, explain what I'm doing then. All right. All my cards. Now, the couple things I learned while doing this was I wasn't really paying attention. I had done all my card bases as top fold. But if you look at this sheet, number five, eight, seven should be side fold cards. Um, so what I did is instead of, instead of, well, side fold cards, but sideways, I don't know. Anyway, so for number seven, this is the top fold card. What I did was this. So instead of it opening like this as it should, since it's the top fold, it's opening like this, which is fine. I just kind of worked with it because I didn't want to make other card bases. Um, so for, so here would be card one. So here's card one. And then just 
kind of show you each one. Card two would be this one. And I was, I got out washi tape, but I decided against it because the border of the solid paper was fine with me. If you didn't want to take the time to do the border, um, the solid color underneath, that would be a good time to add washi tape if you wanted something extra. For card three, card four, card five is somewhere. So for card five is one of those goofy ones where it's a little, it's to the side. Card six, I got confused with card six, so I had to reference my sheet. It's a lot wider, it appears a lot wider here than here. So this would be card six. Card seven is another one that should have been oriented correctly, but I went ahead and just did it this way. You know, these are just great for quick cards, nothing that you would need in a pinch. Card eight, we'll skip for now. Card nine is here. And look at nine and 10, they're the same exact thing, so the sketch is wrong. But here would be nine and 10. I just flipped it. And then 11, would be this one. And then number 12 is the three little strips. And then 13 is the three boxes, which I didn't really glue all that straight. It's a little bit off, but that's okay. 14. And then here is number eight, which doesn't look like the sketch. I don't know what happened. Maybe I messed up on my cutting, but on my sheet here, this is number eight. So obviously this is a lot bigger, this part a lot bigger, but you guys get the idea. So what I'm gonna do now is I have all my cards and to make things easy, I'm just gonna choose a word die cut and then I'm gonna die cut 14 um, die cuts out and then just glue the sentiment on. So I'll go ahead and do that. So here are the dies I chose, a big hello, thanks, thank you, and then hello, a smaller one. And what I did was I took fun foam, glitter paper, I just really rated my stash box and cut everything out with the die cuts. And once again, I'm off camera, so I apologize for that. I will have still shots at the end of this video. For my adhesive, I am using multimedia matte because I knew that with these die cuts, there would be a lot of shifting and adjusting. So I wanted to make sure that once my sentiments dried, that there would be no shiny spots from the glue adhesive. And the multimedia matte is perfect for that. I really wish it came in a bigger um, tube or a bigger container. I have the little tube, which I think is the only size I've seen, and then the jar, but the jar is useless to me with stuff like this, so go ahead and finish adhering all those. Um, the This white glitter paper is beautiful, but I probably should not have used it because it's it does not stick out as much as I would like, but it's gorgeous paper. So just finish it hearing all this, all the sentiments. Um, on some of the sentiments, I used fun foam, glitter fun foam, which is great. And then here are all the cards. So really cute, they came out nice. Here is still shots of the um, diagrams I was using. So pause it, take a picture, or go to the website and print them off. Um, like I said, all links will be linked below f to the blog post, and there you will see um, the two charts I used and an explanation as well as pictures. Um, so if my video was totally confusing, it may help you out a little bit to hop over there. And I definitely want to give credit to my source because this was not my idea. 
um, I went out searching for it and thought it'd be a great video to show in case you guys um, didn't know or needed some ideas on how to get rid of some of your pattern paper. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and um, I will catch you guys next time. Bye.